I probably have an overactive imagination, but I often wonder what actually happens in boardrooms when somebody comes up with an idea as stupid as this. I imagine, for instance, Isla Nibbles, token female board member, saying to uh, Roger Price Gunn, uh, chairman, Roger, I think we might be making this problem worse because the old bag was recyclable and now the new bag I know it's 100% recyclable but people have to take this bit off to recycle it wouldn't it be easier if we just had a brown paper bag pregnant pause ah oh, yes Ida Nibbles if only one of the men had suggested that that would have been a great idea Hi, I'm Angus, evangelist, born-again smoker, ex-alcoholic, using the toxic medium of social media to bring you my weekly missives on environmental issues, greenwashing. And just for clarity for anybody who does not share my sense of humour, I am neither an alcoholic nor a smoker and never have been. But I am evangelistic about bringing this message and making change. For the eagle-eyed among you, you may have just spotted a continuity error. Well, this is not a continuity error. This is to bring to you news of some outtakes at the end of this video, which obviously I couldn't have known about while I was doing it, otherwise there wouldn't be proper outtakes. But do stick around to the end. So today um, I'm going to talk about what only myself and Ira Nibbles thinks is a very poor decision by Tesco supermarket to replace albeit plastic vegetable bag with a vegetable bag that you now have to split um, before you recycle it and recycle it in two different places and I really would be interested to know how many people know that you are supposed to do this this bit has to come away from this bit before you recycle it in most places, uh, in most recycling centres. Check with yours what you should do, but really, um, if you know different or it's different in, in where you live, please comment, you know, drop a comment in there. I'd love to hear your views on that and whether you, whether you knew, whether you knew you had to do that. And, and really, if you care about this stuff at all anyway, please do comment, subscribe, share, like, be fantastic thank you and look I honestly don't have any idea how diverse Tesco's board is or whether their chairman is a, is a you know sexist or anything else uh, this is satire but what they're doing is not it's really happening and it's shit we don't like plastic nobody likes plastic okay but at least with this you could just do that and put it in the uh, recycling bin back in Tesco's. I think they have one. Uh, certainly the co-op do. Oh, the co-op. You need to see last week's video for that. But anyway, they go in their plastic recycling bin and they are it's one shot, okay? Instead of having to do this.
I think I really need to get this part out of the way first. When I first got this bag, when I first got the bag, I wasn't sure whether this was actually plastic or paper. It's sort of crinkly, it feels a bit like paper. Um, so I checked with Tesco's, I spoke with three people um, on, on, on a message and all three of them confirmed that this is plastic. So this part is plastic, this part, part is paper. As confirmed by Tesco's, they didn't know, they had to go and check with their experts, but this is plastic. Uh, I asked in store as well and they also didn't know, but the experts told me it's plastic. So that's important to know. And, and it's true, as they've said here, this is 100% recyclable, but now you have to split it and you have to recycle part of it in your paper recycling and part of it in your plastic recycling. And for a lot of us, that plastic recycling, we can't even do curbside. So we've got to split it and put one bit one place, one bit somewhere else. So it's not really the solution, is it? Anyway, I picked up this story, literally I picked up this story this morning and I'm going to read you the story. Um, it's one of those completely spoof ones. I mean, I'm sure it's one of those spoof things, you know, that people, people make up, but that makes it all the more amusing because you can relate it almost exactly to these fucking plastic bags that aren't plastic, they're paper and plastic. Here we go. So I need my spectacles, here they are, handy. So a couple in Florida, Tito and Amanda Watts were arrested a few days ago for selling golden tickets to heaven to hundreds of people. They sold the tickets on the street for $99 uh, per ticket, told buyers the tickets were made from solid gold and that each ticket reserved the buyer a spot in heaven. Okay, sim simply present that. <laughs> Sorry. Simply present the ticket at the pearly gates and you're in. You're in, yeah? Okay. Tito Watts said in his police statement, I do not care what the police say. The tickets are solid gold and it was Jesus who gave them to me behind the KFC and told me to sell them on so I could get me some money to go to outer space. I met an alien named Stevie who said if I got the cash together, he would take me and my wife on a flying saucer to his planet that is made entirely of drugs. What's not to like, eh? You should arrest Jesus because he is the one who gave me the golden tickets. I am willing to wear a wire and set Jesus up. That's not very Christian, is it? In her, in her police statement, Amanda, Amanda Watt said, we just wanted to leave Earth and go to space and do drugs. Well, who doesn't? I did not do anything. Tito sold some golden tickets to heaven. I just watched. Police said they confiscated over $10,000 in cash. So I guess that's about 100 people, isn't it? Yeah. Drug paraphernalia, surprise, surprise, and get this, a baby alligator. But okay, let's get serious here. Let's get serious. Let's relate that to uh, the characters in, in, in the story. Obviously the main protagonist is, is, is Tito. And it, in the Tesco story, that's the chairman of Tesco's. Okay, so he's the chairman. He's the guy who's trying to sell us the, the fictitious ticket to uh, recycling heaven. And hapless Amanda is essentially the staff at Tesco's who had no idea. They honestly had no idea. I asked, I spoke with four staff, none of them knew. Each of them had to go and check and come back and say it's plastic. So they're, 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 they're watching on going, well, I didn't do anything. I just wanted the drugs. And the ticket itself is obviously the bag. And the writing on the bag in this scenario is as blatant as present this to the pearly gates and get into heaven. It isn't gonna happen. We are the idiots buying this stuff in this scenario. Let that one sink in. This bag is 100% recyclable, it says. So you buy it thinking, oh, I am now uh, a recycling hero. 
No, you are not. You are not going to heaven. You are not a recycling hero. Check with your local authority. Find out how to dispose of these properly. Unfortunately, the police are not going to be raiding Tesco's and finding $10,000 in cash and drug paraphernalia or indeed an alligator, but God knows what they would find, what else these twats are up to. If they can do this in broad daylight, what else are they doing behind the scenes? I ask you. So what's the answer? The answer is, get yourself one of these. Uh, actually, <laughs> you can buy them in, uh, in the co-op. Um, I'm laughing because you probably need to see um, last week's video. Uh, but you can get them online as well. Um, they're, they're, they're really cheap, like 50p, use them forever. Get yourself a few of these. If you're a big vegetable eater, get half a dozen. Take them out with you, put them in your bag when you go out, you're sorted. But if you, if you do pick up one of these, for whatever reason, if you do pick up one of these, check with your local authority and find out how to properly dispose of them. And that would have been a far more helpful fucking thing to put on here than look, we're green. Check with your local authority about the best way to dispose of this. Because it is going to be different in different local authorities and there might be some out there that, that actually um, will allow you to recycle both of these together. There might be, I'm not saying there isn't. And wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the world, if you're getting this, check what's happening. Because you know, when you put, when you mix these things and they're not allowed to be mixed, you've got a problem and you're causing a problem for the whole batch. If you like this video, you may well uh, like last week's video where I addressed issues with um, disposable carrier bags at another one of my local supermarkets. Uh, so I'm rather hoping I don't get banned from those. But for you, uh, if you want to see those, the best way to do it is to actually subscribe to my channel, which you can do for free. Just, it, it's completely free to do so. Press the subscribe button. Um, if you also press the little bell, it will actually notify you when I put my weekly videos up and, and you can find all the videos, my newer videos, it's all free, why not? If you do care about this stuff, please do subscribe, comment, like, share, together we can make a difference. I've been Angus and hopefully you will see me again next week. I'm unlikely to see you, let's be honest. People always say that. I don't know why they always say that on these videos. I'll see you next week. I won't see you, but hopefully you will see me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much. So if we take Tito, yeah? Tito is essentially the chairman of Tesco's. Uh, he's the Tito is essentially the chairman of Tesco. Tito is essentially the chairman of Tesco. Fucking hell. Tito is essentially the. T Fuck off! <laughs> so let's look at the.